All right, we recording? All right, I'm gonna do a couple other training techniques, and instead of me just going and telling you, I'm just gonna show you. Basically, I'm gonna do a place, which some people use touch, but I use touch for something different. Um, and basically, it's gonna be like follow. I'm not gonna treat her every time, because like I said, I'm slowly, you know, winding off. I also told you in another video, she's 11 months old. That's me being sort of scatterbrained. <laughs> she's like a year old. Because I'm thinking her birthday's in June. Um, and I, I'm not like thinking in the months. I, I'm forgetting it's also April. Because um, her birthday's in March the same as his. And it's not in... I don't know why I was thinking it was in June. Because <laughs> me and my mom were talking the other day. And her birthday's in um, March the same as his. Um, I'm like sitting thinking, I was like, you know. But she's like a year old. Some of the things, yes, she should know, but with having a house fire, uh, everything being all scatterbrained, me living at my parents, um, just everything being all flipped, um, her train is a little bit behind in what I'd like it to be. Um, now, she does do some stuff, like, it gives me 110% when I have her gentle lead on, which is like a harness, a, a strap that goes around her mouth. She can still eat and drink with it, and she's got her vest on. I'm trying to get her to do a lot of stuff without her vest, but without her vest, she seems to think that um, it's more farm work and play, and when we're at my parents, she can do a lot more things, that uh, a little bit more freedom, um, but if I had her vest on, she'd work 110%. She would do more what I wanted her to do, but I'm trying to get her to realize that without the vest, I want her to do exactly the same as when she has the vest on. Day. Good job. So anyway, go ahead, get that, I dropped it. You can do whatever you want. You just want treats. I don't want her to come off there until I call her. I don't care if she looks around, I don't care if she, what she does, as long as when she hears it and we say, come, or here, she comes. I don't care what side. Here. Come on. Here. Heel. Good girl. Good girl. All right. Place. I'm gonna change it up a bit. Come follow. Come follow. Stay. Come follow. Now I'm using the word come follow because I want her to come follow me. Place. Good girl. Stay. Okay. Now I'm using the porch for the simple fact is it's a bigger area so she can lay down. But some people get a mat or like a bed or they'll even use a rock. You can use a rock like, you know, like Hollywood dogs and movie star dogs. They'll like take a rock and they teach that dog on that rock or they call it a marker. To, to, you know, stay there. And then, of course, you know, with Hollywood magic, they kind of like erase it out. But I'm using the porch as a place. Um, the simple fact is I want her to stay in that place. Um, so she can walk around or do what she wants, sniff. Um, now, if I she taught her how to, sit, to stay in the mat or got one of those bed things, she would stay around her. The fact is, the point is, I got her in the place. Come. Kylo, come heel. Hey! Come heel. Rip. Good. 
Now see, sometimes she sit, she'll stand there, but sometimes she don't. But if I pull my hand up like this, I, it means I want her to sit down. I use the word follow me, follow me, because I think I already said it, follow me, because I want her to follow me. Because if I go to my doctor's appointment, sometimes I'll say, okay, let's follow the nurse. Or when I go grocery shopping, follow me. I'll say, okay, follow dad. Which means, you know, because what it means is, you're, is my husband is in front of me, or follow mom or follow grandpa, they're in front of me. So I'm telling her, because she's going to stay beside me, she already knows, she's, gonna, she's healing beside me, she already knows to stay beside me. But if I say follow so and so, she knows we're gonna be following that person. Okay, go place. Place. Go place. Get up here and go place. Hurry up. Go place. I'm waiting. Mm -hmm. Go place. We, we can wait all day. Place. <laughs> Dead. See, she knew what I wanted her to do. But what she's doing is she's sort of like testing, really. Eh, I don't really want to. We've had enough play, and right now she's kind of getting tired. She's winding down. And she wants to play, but she wants to go explore. She wants to do things. Too, I've got people pulling her at the bait shop off and on. And she's used to meeting and greeting and doing things. And she hasn't gotten to understanding it. I let her greet people. You know, when I tell her, she can't. And when people pull into the bait shop, I let her once in a great while, as a, as a reward and a treat, go greet people. So she knows, because she has this habit of, hi, how you doing? You know, getting way too excited when she's not in gear to go greet people. I want her to greet people as, hi, how are you? Wag the tail, wag the butt, but, you know, some people are afraid of dogs. Just don't go running up to them. Um... But in her gear, she's all like, hi, how are you? She'll wag the butt and she's all calm and submissive. But without her gear, she's like, hi, how are you? <laughs> she's <laughs> she's totally different. It's like like two different Kylos. You get like the, like, hi, how are you? Peck my belly. Did I tell you all the place? Get back on. Get on place. Get on place. Get on place. Stay. That's why I like playing with her. She's funny. But I want her to realize that she don't have to, she, you know, greet me like that. Fine. Greet me like, hi. But greet other people calm and submissively. Like, hi, how are you? You know, almost not like a fearful dog, but very submissive dog. Like when she, when, when she greets other dogs that she don't really know, it's very submissive. Now, after she gets to know the dogs, she's like, hey, how are you? Like our neighbor's dog. First time she met him, it's like, oh, hi, how are you? Second time she met him, like, hey, dude, how are you? I know you, I remember you. I don't care. But I want her, like, she can't meet people like that off her vest. And when her vest comes on, it's kind of like when you get home from work. What do you do when you get home from work? You take your work clothes off, you put your comfy clothes on, you're like, hey, I'm free, man. I don't gotta work, do anything. It's kind of like her whole motto, like, I got my work vest off. I don't got to work or do anything. I get to go do farm work and herd the chickens, and then we get to play. She's, she, she still works, but it's more like a relaxed work. She hasn't learned to still be in work mode without that vest like him. And, and I know one day she's going to get there. Like we caught on a video the, the one time, if you go to my other YouTube video, you'll see where she actually learned place, and she stayed in place. The whole entire time I was working with Hans, it wasn't that long, but no one had to hold her like before. And that was a big accomplishment because I have faith that one day she'll get there. And all you got to do is just keep working at it. Right? You got to keep working at it. Right, Puppers? Right? Got to keep working at it. Yeah. Can I, Mommy have a kiss? Hey. Can I have a kiss? I love you. All right. Come on. Good girl. And we've been doing this before, so I'm gonna be playing. But we were we were doing this before. We were we were we were training stuff like that before. So the video's short. So I don't want you to think, oh, she didn't do that long of a training video. Yes, we did. <laughs> she's tired. This is why she's not doing as well. But I wanted to show you 
what I, I, I've been doing. Oh, he's still your toy. Then he's still your toy. Okay, the chicken. But I wanted to show you a little bit of what we were doing. And now we got some free play time. And I wanted to show you that, you know, we're... I'm going to sit here. <laughs> but I just wanted to show you that, you know, turn a butt. That, you know, um, like I said, we were doing a little bit of training beforehand. I know, you want to play with the ball. Um, so she's a little bit tired. She's a little bit wore out. She's Not that she's getting bored or anything, but she's getting tired from the end of the day. And she wants to go in and take a little bit of a nap. And probably and rest a little bit before we have to go out and lock the chickens up. She's probably getting hungry. Getting hungry? You know, I've been feeding you treats. You getting hungry? Probably wants to go eat her supper and everything. She's usually going to feed them around this time. And of course, you know, when we have supper, then of course they get, you know, we give them some table scraps. Huh. But, I just wanted to show you a little bit of what we've been doing and what you can do. And, you know, don't don't get mad at your dog for not knowing stuff. Um, they're gonna screw up. Um, they're gonna like not listen. Um, to, to, to a certain extent, like her, she came off of the place, and I made a little joke about. It. I said, "Yeah, I said, but come off your place. Get back on your place." And she did. She got back on the place. We made a little joke about it, and we had a fun time. And I love. And then I told her back on place. We got back on track, and then you know we had a little session, and I relieved her. And now she went to butt scratched and the butt scratchies. And a lot of times it's like, and you see me, I didn't have to reward and treat her a lot. All I did is love her up. And mostly it's just the butt scratches and the plays. Huh. You want to do a fallback? Should we play do a fallback? Can you sit? Sit. Kylo, sit. Can you sit? Come here, sit. Sit. Come here. Come here. Up here. Come here. Sit. Do a fall back. Do a fall back. Do a fall back. Come on. Do a fall back. Come on. Come on. <laughs> she usually does it on the couch. Sit. Sit. Do a fall back. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Get up here. If I'm on the couch, she'll do like the whole fall back thing of falling to me. But she's not doing that now. Come here. Get up here. Come on. I'm not getting down on the ground though. But she usually does that whole, you know how the people sit down and they do the whole fallback thing? She'll do that with me. If I'm sitting down lower, she might. Won't you? Can I need to sit down lower? Do I need to sit down lower? Here. I need to sit down lower. Come here. Okay, come here. Sit. Alright, fall back. Come here, fall back. Come on, fall back. Come here, sit. Fall back. Fall back. Come on, fall back. Come on. Come on, fall back. Here we go. <laughs> it's close enough. <laughs> yeah, she's a good girl. See, I trust my mommy. Yes. You just gotta have trust and faith in your dog, huh? Yes. Trust and faith in your poopers. Yeah. Trust and faith in your puppies. You just gotta have trust and faith. I don't think she could catch me. Though. I think I might squish her. Yeah, you see? <laughs> you tried all right? Try it all right. Yeah. But anyway, that's it, guys. I'll see you whenever I do another video. Oh, bye. Say bye. Bye. bye.